All right, YouTube, I'm back with another quick and dirty with the Cheese Man. Today's topic is gear progression. Alongside with leveling up ships, gear is also the number, well, not contender for number one ways to improve progression in this game. So, without further ado, let's get started because it's going to be a long topic. Now, there's going to be, there's two different ways of doing this, but I'm going to tell you guys how I did it because... This is the method I recommend to everyone to do, and this is, rec this is the uh, method I do for like basically anything, like from my Iron Man to um, my main account. This is how I did my gear progression. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. The first thing th that you gotta realize is when it comes to gear progression, you can farm for ship drops or uh, gear print drops, yes, but the biggest way to get it is from gearboxes yes these little gambling machines or whatever this is the biggest way to improve gear why because these things give whole gear absolutely whole gear you don't have to farm for prints whatever you open and whatever you get is you get the whole thing which is why it's very very good meaning the best way to get these is from the shop so you have your event shops like these right here grab those you have your general shop that you can farm for and it resets every single uh, day. You have some mirrors, but I think they update. I'm not sure. Don't spend your core days on these. But right here, these three are good ways to get um, PvP or not gearboxes. So when you get your gearboxes, you open them, you pop them open, and you get a lot of random gear, right? You get a lot of random RNG gear that you can use on your ships. Now, they may not be best in slot, but don't worry. Just because they're not best in slot doesn't mean they're not usable. When you're starting off fresh in a game, any gear is good gear when you're new to the game because your ships are going to default to absolutely nothing to work with. Like, for example, let's look at some random uh, common ship right here. Let's say you want to use a, I don't know, Pensacola. You have nothing here. You have two white gear, and that's basically it. So basically, any gear at this point is upgrades. So let's go down the list. I can use a blue gear upgrade. I can use, well, I don't have any purple gears, but you guys get the example here. Basically, any gear is an up upgrade. So you want to open those boxes. Yes, you may not get the gear you want, but if it's a, a gear that you can equip on the ship, you're good to go. Okay, so that's the big way. Now. When it comes to um, getting gearboxes, the, the biggest way to get it is to buy it from the shop. This video I made like two years ago, very, very outdated, but you can still basically the same thing. You just farm a map, get a lot of coins, and whenever you see like gold gearboxes, buy those. Don't buy purples. I don't recommend buying purples, but if you see gold gearboxes, buy them. It is 5,000 uh, coins per box, 25,000 for a five stack, buy them. You're going to need them. You're going to need a lot of them, and it's going to help out a lot. It's expensive, yes, but it's worth getting because it's full gear that you're getting. Even if it's not good gear, it's still usable gear. So, again, take the combination of the video I made a while back with the 2-1, uh, form a lot of coins, and you're good to go. So, as of right now, there's two big maps to farm for coins that you guys probably already know of, or I hope you guys know. Otherwise, I'll tell you guys right here. The first one is 2-1. I made a video uh, last week farming this map. You're going to get a lot of coins, and you're not going to lose oil. Now, you can level up ships here as well, up to level 70 or so. Don't limit break them. If you limit break them, level up somewhere else. But this is a really good place to get a lot of coins because you're not spending oil at all. You just hit the auto button, get your full clear, you're good to go. You get about 100 per 2 minutes, so that's like what? I don't know, 2.5, 3K an hour. Pretty good. So about 20, 10 hours or so, you get one stack of boxes, and you buy that. You buy it from the shop, you're good to go. Now, you do that probably every single day, if you can, for multiple, multiple days. You'll get a lot of gear, gold gear boxes, you're good to go. That is the easiest way to progress when it comes to um, gold gear boxes. Also, I do want to say that if you guys don't know how to progress, or you guys don't want to do the gold gear box farming method, follow my Iron Man series. This series right here, I played the game with no gacha, gacha gear boxes, no gacha ships. I farmed all my plates and I farmed all my ships and I farmed all my uh, gears that I used in that game or in that uh, in that series. So if you guys want to know where to farm for like the quote unquote best gear, which I'll explain in this video, 
That video goes into further detail on the maps I farm specifically, and if you guys are new to the game, definitely watch that series. It's going to help you out a lot. So, with so with you, when you have your gold gear boxes or you have your bo uh, gear boxes, you get let's say you open about a hundred, right? You get you get a hundred or so, and you get some progression on your account. You get I don't know. I'll show you an example right here. Let's pop open uh, Eagle Union. They have the best gear most of the time, so let's pop open a ten stack. And I'll show you an example. These things have a about one in eight chance to give you a gold gear. Now I didn't get any good specific ones here, but these are some pretty good gears. You have purple SG radar, very good. You have purple Corsair, very good. You have a purple hell diver, very very good. A repair toolkit, very very good. Two single 127s, very very good DD guns. And um, I think there's a triple 152 right here, not bad, still usable. These are some really good gear, right? You got some a lot of usable gear. It may not be best in slot, but some of them are very, very good. All you got to do is open some boxes. Now, in the process, if you were to farm out every single one of these gears right here, it costs 10 purple uh, gear prints to make each and every one of these. So this is a total of 100 purple gear prints that I just got right here in terms of value from just opening 10 purple boxes of gear. So... Farming 100 purple gear prints is going to take a very, very, very long time. And you're not going to get them every single time you farm a specific map. That's why I highly recommend you guys, you buy gold gear boxes. So, with that being said, it's not the only way to get gear in this game. I highly recommend that most players, when you get a lot of gold gear box open, go ahead and round out the rest of your quote-unquote good gear. So, if you want to think about it, the gold gear boxes that you open and whatnot, are basically your bread. They will get you started in the game with some base gear, some either good gear, bad gear, it doesn't matter. It gets you started with the gear that you're gonna use in your journey. Then, when you get a lot of gear, you get them to like plus six or so, or so that's when you start starting, uh, start farming the big gears. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the big gear that you'll need in this game. These gears you'll be using for a very, very long time, if not forever. These are the best maps to farm. So, two, three is the first one. Fire extinguishers. These things are pretty. These are these are the best blue gear you'll ever get and you'll ever use in your whole life. These things are really really good. Reduce burn damage. You slap these onto your vanguards most of the time, so they reduce damage because they're going to be taking some brunt force from the enemies and whatnot. These are very very good. Get a couple of these if you want to, or farm a lot. It doesn't matter. You'll you'll probably get a lot of these from purple gear boxes along the way, but if you want some right away. 2-3 is a good place to go. If you want those, you'll get a lot from purple gear boxes though, but don't worry about it. And then and then you have 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two is a good map because there are single 127s, purple catap uh, steam catapults, and hell divers. All three of these are very, very good. The ones I'll stick around to for the longest are probably going to be the hell divers and these right here. These now, these might not be the best as of right now, but these are still very, very good regardless. Probably like one of the best purple DD guns you'll ever use. And these guns right here, or these planes right here, are basically best in slot, aside from the new update with o OS. But these two are very, very good. Dive bombers and destroyer guns, very, very good. 3-2 is a good map. Come here to round out your um your gold gear progression, or a gold gear box progression and whatnot. So you can come here if you want to. And then 3-4, we have Repair Toolkits and Purple Corsairs. These two right here are really, really good. You're going to need Repair Toolkits a lot, a lot of them. And these will substitute for a time being. There are many, many other better fighters out there. But in terms of Purple Fighters, these are basically the best ones as of right now. So these will last you per, for a good while until you get the better upgrades. But until then, though, because Gold Gear boxes may not give you the things you want, uh, you should definitely farm up these if you really, really need fighters. And then we go to um, World 4. World 4, I spent this many times before. 4-2 is the best map right here. You have some cruiser guns. Very, very good. This is heavy cruiser, I think. or I think, I'm not sure. But these two are pretty, pretty good. Farm some of these. This is also decent. Not the best, but it's decent, I guess. But right here. These are the ones you want because these are up until PR AP guns for uh, light cruisers. These are basically the best ones to go. These are very, very good. Farm these if you really, really need cruiser guns, though. I wouldn't put too he heavy emphasis on them because cruisers don't aren't supposed to do that much damage. But if you really, really want cruiser guns for light cruisers, farm these up. And then 4-3 is a good map because 4-3 has purple fire control radars, 
and uh, the twin 152s. The one twin 152s are probably the best suicide bomber defense guns in the game. And suicide bombers you'll encounter in the later maps, specifically six and up, where you're gonna have these uh, kamikaze bombers run to your backline, do massive, massive, massive damage if you can't blow them up in time. These will help you out a lot. So farm these up if you really struggle on maps like say for example World 10. World 10 has many many suicide bombers so if you're struggling, farm up this gear is going to help you out a lot. And we're going to skip World 5 because I don't like farming World 5. 6 1. Now World 6 would be a really good map to farm because World 6 has some really good gear. 6 1 specifically, we have SG radars, very very good. You'll need a couple, a couple of these. Probably one of the best uh, BB auxiliaries you'll ever use. So get some of these until PR and stuff. But you probably won't finish that. And also core data um, for gear progression helps out a lot. Farm with these. Um, they're going to help out a lot. And you're going to do 6-3. 6-3 has some of the best BB guns. You have the purple 410. Good for reloading from some quick reloads, barrages, battleships, and whatnot. And you have... Probably the best HE BB gun in this whole game, the Triple 406. I still use this. I still use it to this very day. Very, very, very good. You probably get a lot of these from opening uh, gold gear boxes. And I do gotta mention to you guys that specific gear come from specific uh, boxes. So, for example, that Triple, um, that Triple uh, 406 uh, BB gun or whatever comes f specifically from Royal boxes. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna pray I get one right here. I'm not sure if I will get one, but we'll find out. Pop open a 10 stack right here. Oh, <laughs> one second, one second, one second. Uh, pop open a 10 stack right here. So each of the gear have a, has a specific faction on them, and those specific gears come from specific boxes. So the triple 406 comes from the royal boxes. So 10 stack right here. Purple, purple Barracudas, not bad. I didn't get the triple 406, but you get some other gear as well. Purple Barracudas. Um, gold fire control radars, um, the twin B, uh, the gun I was just talking about just now. That's good for defense against suicide bombers. You get some really good gear from opening gear, gold gear boxes. So, again, um, going back to what I was talking about. So six three is a good map. Six one is a good map, and six four is a pretty good map as well because you have some decent anti air guns, and they give a lot of torpedoes. This is a really good map to farm torpedoes because you have the quints and you have the quads and a gold version of the quads. These two are really, really uh, default torpedoes. So if you're really lacking torpedoes, definitely farm 6-4 um, because you'll need a decent amount of them. Uh, this is a really good map to farm these. And after this, I say this is probably the last map I cut off on. I wouldn't farm anything higher than this for gear specifically because you're going to have to toss down a lot of ships most of the time or sometimes. And it's not going to be oil efficient at all. But the last map though for uh, one, this specifically for cheap oil farming, by the way, if you're farming for gear. 7-2. 7-2 has good anti-air, the Roombas, the 113s or whatever. Purple Steam Catapults, Purple Barracudas. Very, very good map to farm. A lot of, a lot of good things. Now, again, those maps or I recommend to you guys are to round out your gold gear progression. So, you need gold gears to open as your bread. Once you open your bread, once you have like 100, 200, 300 slices of bread opened up, you want to have some fillings. You want to have some toppings, right? You want to have some salami, some ham, some lettuce, some tomatoes, some cheese, right? Those toppings come from farming these maps individually to round off your progression on your ships. DD guns, cruiser guns, care, uh, dive bombers, torpedo bombers, all that stuff. All these maps have it up until World 7. Pick the map you want to farm, and you're good to go. Again, if you guys don't know where to farm specifically or you want to know what, uh, how to grind specific gear for a specific map, follow my Iron Man series. Again, very, very good series to f figure out how you should progress your gear. And now let's say a couple months down the line, you got, you got a lot of gold gear box open. You farmed a couple some some good guns, some good planes, some good auxiliaries. You're, you're pretty much good to go, right? You're in a good spot. You're up until like world 8 or so. You're good gear balanced out and whatnot. You farm a good amount, you're good to go, right? So, what do you progress from here? End game, um, end game gears come from one one of two ways most of the time. Aside from events, they come from core. Amazing, amazing good gear here. Specific the auxiliaries like the uh, the shells, the uh, rainbow dildos, 
some decent planes, specifically the uh, the the pirate squad or whatever. This is really really good. And lastly, priority research. This is where you're gonna get the best of the best gear in this game. Aside from uh, aside from the the gear lab, but we'll we'll worry about this another time. <laughs> we'll worry about this another time. But this is also another way to get gear prints. But I'm not gonna focus about this because most of you guys. I don't think most of you guys are at this point, but it's not so hard though. You just look at this, follow the instructions. If you have the material, build it, etc., etc., and then build up to the specific gear, right? But some of the best of the best gear comes from the PR research. PR research, you do some of these missions right here. It takes it's really really time gated, so you want to be on top of it. But they give amazing amazing gear. Like you have some rainbow guns, you have some amazing amazing cruiser guns right here, like the Seattle gun, amazing amazing HE gun for light cruisers. You have um, the hood gun, amazing, amazing reload gun for HE as well. And then let's look at some PR3 gear. If I can find a PR3, I think I do right here. Gold fire control radars. Um, amazing, amazing anti-air right here. The One of the best APBB guns right here as well. You get some crazy, crazy uh, good gear from P uh, PR research. Now, this is heavily time-gated. And most of the time, if you're doing like QD missions, it's going to cost a lot of plates because these things cost plates to do or it costs coins to do. You want to make sure you have resources. So come here when you have an abundance of them. Or if you listen to what I say, there's a reason why I farm 2-1 a lot and there's a reason why I farm 7-2 a lot. Those maps give a lot, a lot of coins. Now guess what? Gold gear boxes cost coins to buy most of the time from the shop. You need farm coins. PR, um, PR research cause coins as well for some of these missions. Guess what? I need farm coins. That's why 2-1 and 7-2 are the best maps to farm because that's how you progress in terms of gear and that's how you progress in terms of um, uh, research and whatnot for making ships stronger. So, I hope you guys caught up with that. Nothing too crazy about gear progression and all. It's all about farming the right maps and opening, opening a lot, a lot of gold gear boxes. Once you get your filling, once you get your core in, you can uh, once you're ready you go to research you go to gear labs and then you just funnel in and make a lot of gear plates here you get all these from just mass mass spamming and over time if you play for many many months many many years you should get a lot a lot of abundance of gear that you can make pretty pretty simple right pretty pretty simple now that's the end of this video again a lot of farming follow my Iron Man series it's gonna help out a lot and you guys should be good to go next video I'll be talking about uh, the best gear or the gear I recommend that you guys put on specific ships. So don't bother asking the questions because I'm making that video next. Thank you guys and enjoy.